Take a moment to skim through Wall Street bets and you'll find plenty of examples of people in their early 20s who were scarred by the last financial crisis. Struggling parents, homes lost, families broken. A lot of people feel like they've got the short end of the stick, that the government hasn't been there for them or small businesses while corporations and Wall Street gets bailed out. For these young people, it's time for revenge to bring down the hedge funds and the banks and their manipulative practices, including shorting, which is where traders make money by betting a stock actually goes down and not up. Just look at what happened with GameStop. Redditors noticed that hedge funds or big traders, let's call them Gordon, were shorting the stock. That is borrowing the stock from a broker, let's say $10, and agreeing to return it at a later date plus a little interest. In the meantime, Gordon sells it into the market at the current price of $10 and then waits for it to drop to, say, $5 to buy it back. He returns it to the original investor, plus a little interest as I mentioned, pocketing the difference of around $5. Of course, Gordon would make even more money if GameStop's shares could be run down even further. But in this case, Gordon was short-squeezed by the Reddit army, some of whom actually think GameStop has a future. Redditors bought shares and then bought more shares. So when poor Gordon bought back from the market, it was at a way higher price, say $150. But he had to do it. It was the only way he could honor the agreement with the broker and avoid going out of business. In real life, Redditors drove GameStop's price up from around $17 at the beginning of the year to around $150. And then it doubled overnight after Elon Musk, who's had his own little battles with short sellers, tweeted to his 42 million followers, GameStop. Hedge funds like Melvin Capital lost billions of dollars. Uh, I just got off the telephone with Gabriel Plotkin, who runs that firm. Uh, they've taken a, a rather huge loss. I do not have the full number on what that loss looked like. And now, irony of ironies, Wall Street is complaining that the Reddit army is guilty of market manipulation and needs to be stopped. Well, that is very much up for debate, but in the meantime, Robin Hood, one of the Reddit Army's favorite online brokers, essentially stopped them temporarily from buying any more GameStop stock, which has made everyone furious from the left to the right. People are starting to figure out all these little ways in which the game is rigged. They are robbing you. They are stealing from you. This is criminal. Well, thanks for watching our program. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and even subscribe.